So I'll meet Dr. Pandit and uh, then we can take a one-pass session. Okay, uh, good morning again from my side to everyone. Uh, great to see everyone here and kick off the first session. I realize that uh, the title here is chairman or chair of the session, but what it means is that I'm the clock. And, uh, and that's my job, and so that's what I'll be doing. But just as a quick lead-in to cities uh, as a topical area for this session, uh, cities uh, have been claimed and have been sort of the, what do they say, the engines of growth and GDP for the last uh, so many decades and so on. But they do sit in the, uh, in the context of the rural countryside also. So in that sense, we have a session here where people are going to be talking about cities and the issues that they're taking up in order to take us towards net zero. We'll talk about some of the technological elements that feed into that and also the rural context within which net zero has to sit. Uh, there's another context to it because, and I think it's important to mention here because it's the Chandrakan Keshavan Center and one of the main areas is energy policy. And I remember in 2015, the Paris uh, 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 session, uh, that there were three parts, uh, which was the NDC 1, NDC 2, and these were requirements we met. Uh, these were nationally determined contributions. NDC 1 was about mitigation. NDC 2 was about adaptation, that is, if, if we don't meet the targets. And then NDC 3 was about sequestration. And a lot of the efforts that we see that are going on in cities, in campuses, and so on, uh, have largely been about mitigation. And I think what we heard today from Praveen was uh, one approach in terms of looking at NDC3, which is about sequestration. And how those are married together provide the basis for actually implementation of the policy construct that was presented back in Paris and so on. So there is relevance to this. Uh, experiments like uh, 14 trees provide a fantastic platform for actually trying out things, for demonstrating ideas, and for actually uh, making things happen. So it's an unusual gathering here, and I'm happy to be a part of it. Uh, and, and with that, uh, I would like to carry on to the next thing, uh, next uh, presentation. I think the first presentation is, with, uh, is from Ms. Mehta. Uh, she's uh, from Pune. I think we've gone over the introductions. So I'll skip that if you don't mind, madam. Uh, so if we can speak.